Sudan has launched a women's football league, a move that reflects the new transitional government's aspirations for the country and allows female players to push for wider acceptance. Under the post-president Omar al-Bashir, who was toppled in April after months of protest, Sudan was governed using a strict interpretation of Sharia law and largely neglected women's participation in sports. Both male and female fans cheered in the stands as the El Tahadi and El Difa teams graced the country's oldest sports stadium in the capital Khartoum in the league's opening match. The league includes 21 teams from across Sudan and the match was officiated by female referees. Generally, the Sudanese society is not entirely accepting of women's football. Not all Sudanese society accepts, but a small group does and they support us. We will continue to do what we can until the rest of the Sudanese people accept women's football. A past attempt at an unofficial women's league featured only three Khartoum teams. As we all know, women's football has been historically fought against, and not only in Sudan, it was global. In Sudan, it was more restrictive, but we have the political will so that from now onwards, women's football would be one of the pillars of development and an integral part of the state's policies. Sudan's Prime Minister, Abdallah Hamdok, has said female participation across society is a priority for his government, citing the prominent role of women in the protests that brought down former President Omar al-Bashir.